this is going to be a very easy eye look tutorial we're going to do a little bit of eye sculpting then smoky wing that's going to bring everything together but it's going to be very easy and i'm going to show you step by step how i do it first thing we need is eyeshadow primer don't worry if you don't have eyeshadow primer you can use a tiny bit of concealer that should work perfectly fine i'm gonna apply this all over my eyelid and just because i want to make this eye look very easy i'm just going to use one eyeshadow palette this one has everything that you would need so this is going to be perfect you grab a few brushes i'm actually just going to grab these four which are are from the same bundle and from the same brand because it's actually very clever it's the palette that you need and the brushes that you need it makes it very simple easy to use and beginner friendly i'll show you what kind of brushes we are going to use we're going to use a very big fluffy brush a medium sized fluffy brush this one is a flat fluffy brush and this one's like a detail flat brush if that makes sense. so let's start eye sculpting i'm going to grab this eyeshadow a nice warm brown reddish brown i'm going to put the excess on the back of my hand and essentially we're just going to follow our bone structure so follow the crease and bring it back and this is going to kind of enhance the shadows that we would naturally have because of our uh, bone structure we want to do this super super gently so grab your brush on the end this way you don't have enough strength to apply a lot of pressure and as you can see it makes a subtle difference that's why it's kind of eye sculpting let's do the same thing with your eye very quickly make sure there are no creases long crease and bring it back if you feel like you put too much grab a another fluffy brush with a little bit of loose powder or just powder and swipe it where you think you put too much eyeshadow this is not a step you can do all the time but this is the first step so it should be fine it also makes it easier to blend now we're going to grab the medium-sized fluffy brush a darker brown this one's more cool tone and we're going to apply that on the outer corner again don't forget to do it very gently at this point we want to tap 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 and not swipe i'm going to do the same a little bit here and when the brush doesn't have that much pattern i'm going to blend it upwards same thing on the other eye, apply that on the outer corner, the lower lash line, and with the excess, I'm going to blend it up. I haven't picked up any more product, but I'm going to swipe the brush alongside on my lower lash line for a tiny bit of definition. Then now, if you want, you can add more depth with an um, even deeper brown. This brown, very deep cool tone brown. And very gently, I'm going to apply it essentially where we put the, the other one. But this time, we're not going to blend it that much. We're going to focus it on the outer corner. Yeah, yeah, same thing. And now with a flat fluffy brush, I'm going to take a little bit of the white on the flat side of the excess and I'm going to add it on the inner corner. Just a little bit. I don't want it to be super white, just a bit brighter. Now for the fun part, the eyeliner. We could either go with dark brown or black. I'm going to go black just because why not? The fat the fat the flat detail brush grabbing this and we're going to do a small eyeliner i'm also going to bring it to the lower lash line and since this is an eyeshadow it's a lot easier to manipulate so this is actually the best hack for a beginner if you want to do an eyeliner this brush is also very very helpful i like to the other eye This eye look actually asked me for an inner corner, so I will have to do that. I'm sorry. I promise it, it's not that hard. I've always done it with this kind of brushes or a regular angle brush is fine. Just kind of stamp it here. And it's basically done. Very subtle, so I'm going to intensify it. 
Done. Ooh. Done. Just like three seconds. Okay, maybe five seconds. And this is going to be everything for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna just add some mascara. Which mascara should I use today? Um, I'm thinking this one from Lancome. The applicator is like that, so big and fluffy. It's going to be a lot of volume. I curled my lashes at the beginning of the makeup, so if you haven't done this yet, do it now. I'm always very careful when applying mascara. I feel like no matter what mascara I use, my lashes are going to eventually fall. My trick for that is not applying the mascara all over your lashes. I'll like display. I just place mascara towards the ends of the lashes. This has helped me a lot with my lashes not falling. I think I'm going to add another mascara. This time a lengthening one. This one is from Hourglass and it has this kind of shape. This is actually going to bring length to the lashes. A lot of people don't like applying mascara in the lower lashes, but just trust me on this one. Trust me on this one and try it because it actually brings everything together. Okay, we're done. Okay, and this is the eye look with the full makeup on. Let me know if you're going to try this and how it worked for you. I would love to know if you found it helpful as well. And as always, please let me know if you have any other video suggestions in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!